All right, so we made it to the Devil's Garden. This is the parking lot. There's the bathroom facility and quite a bit of parking. And then right behind us here is the trail. So I think we're ready to get started. There's a giant crow right there in the base of that tree. What do you think of this view, Mrs? I think it's really nice. There's a nice little breeze coming down here. I'm ready to see some arches. Yeah, <laughs> we want to see arches. There's another crow. He's a big one. Look like he ain't missed no meals. <laughs> There's an article in the flyer that gave us about the crows. We'll have to read later. Well, this is pretty cool the way we're walking in between these big canyon wall rocks. This one looks like it's getting ready to crumble. So this one will take us to landscape arch and partition arch. Tunnel arch and pine tree arch this way. So as we're coming up from Tunnel Arch, you can see this other one. This is called Pine Tree Arch. Not sure why it's called that, but... Oh look, an arch. <laughs> I don't think that counts, but it's cool. Okay, so I think I figured out why it's called Pine Tree Arch. There's a pine tree right in the middle of it. And yet another amazing view. Absolutely fantastic. And I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but right up there at the top of that peak, there's uh, two little stones that stick out. There's two arches inside the stone. So we came up from over there in a couple good strenuous hills and we come up here and we see this vast open land with the rocks sticking up and just an amazing, amazing view. I mean, speechless. So nice. And then as we're coming up, we notice this massive arch. I don't know what this one's called, but we're going to find out in a minute. And it looks like there's one straight ahead. From here anyway and then up there at the top you'll see there's another one inside the rocks i'm sure they'll have a sign up that says which one it is i don't know if this is landscape or partition arch landscape. all right so this is landscape arch and let's see what it says it says uh it's 306 feet long across Weighs approximately 180 tons. That's pretty massive. Pretty amazing. 
and then let's see yeah the, this landscape arch and then the trail back is 0 0.8 pretty awesome So as you take the trail past the landscape arch, we go going to Navajo Arch and Partition Arch. Supposedly it's a short hike. Oh, there's one there. Yeah. There's some people standing up there on top of that rock. See them? Right in the middle. It was between those two rocks. And there's an arch up there, and there's uh, someone standing up underneath that one, uh -huh. right there. So I guess uh, those rocks on the right there fell in 1991. And this this hill here is closed, and it has been since 1991 due to rock falling and the potential of a, another rock fall. It's pretty amazing that it happened in 1991, and they're still expecting it to fall at some point. Well, we decided to not take the uh, primitive loop trail, which is 1.1 miles there and 1.1 back. Or you can go do the whole loop and the other side is like two and a half. So it'd be like three, a little over three and a half. But we're going to go back and uh, do a couple other arches. Sand dune arch, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. What was the other one? Sand dune? something else well we're going back out so that was what two two miles just over with that little side detour we did mm -hmm. easy hike would you say Easy hike. To the last days. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Gravel paths. Yeah, fairly easy. There's a couple of good hills, but they're not terrible. And I think it's totally worth the hike. Nice, easy hike. It took us, uh, what, just over an hour, hour and 18 minutes. But now we're off to um, one of the other ones, uh, either sand dunes or tapestry or I can't remember, broken arch. <laughs>